Greetings to all of you. Uh, welcome to GPL Capital's weekly market outlook. So this week, Nifty uh, attained 21,000 mark, close to 21,000 mark and gained 4% in a week. Uh, in prior to week, we also witnessed five and a half percent of uh, upside movement into the Nifty. So these two weeks, last two weeks has been very good uh, in terms of the price performance. There are several reasons to that as well. Uh, this week, uh, we also had important announcement from the various state elections. So the ruling party won uh, in three states out of the four. And uh, the GDP numbers also came very well. Uh, the GDP clocked at 7.6%, which is the most uh, uh, which is the most optimistic outlook in the market. That was 7%. The GDP growth rate was also well ahead of the RBI's estimates of 6.5%. So overall, there were very positive triggers uh, that uh, that stimulated the market and Nifty uh, rallied towards 21,000. So after having such a stellar move, uh, now many of investors are getting uh, questions. They are uh, asking questions about the valuations and how one shall look towards the market from here on. So here is our take. So we will discuss uh, the major indices that is nifty bank nifty and uh, we will also discuss about the nifty it and nifty pharma so we will discuss the earning multiples and price to books uh, of these indices so let's start with the nifty 50 which is a key benchmark index so uh, as there is a chart in front of us where uh, this is a price to earning ratio of uh, nifty since 2005 so historically, there has been a median of 21 times to the earnings. Uh, at present, Nifty 50 is trading at 24 times. That is very close to the one standard deviation of 24 times. So we have almost attained one standard deviation movement into the Nifty 50's earnings. So that has historically that has led to uh, some of the profit booking and time-wise correction into the market. If you look at at the same chart between 2016 to 17, there has been a cases where the earning multiple has been uh, hovering around the upper band and that has led to a sideways market. So at present, uh, the valuation are into, into the same band and a very significant move, what we saw in last two weeks, uh, cannot be uh, expected going ahead. However, there will be a range bound uh, movement at the index and uh, and uh, sometimes we can also witness a little profit booking given this scenario. That was the historical price to earning uh, uh, ratio. Let's move on towards the forward price to earning multiple. So uh, here the story is also same. We are trading at 23 times uh, forward earnings of FY24, which is one year forward price to earning ratio. And the upper band historically has been 22 times. So again, here we have broke down the uh, one standard deviation in terms of the one year forward P. So again, uh, here, here story is also not different. We are again uh, at inflection levels uh, in terms of the valuation uh, perspective, both as well as historical and forward valuation. So a possibility of profit booking or sideways correction and the de deceleration uh, into the uh, Nifty's move cannot be ruled out at present. Next, move on towards the bank nifty. So here, here you have price to book ratio of bank nifty, historical price to book ratio, which is at present lingering around 1.6 times. And from last one to two years, it has been lingering uh, around the uh, lower part of uh, one standard deviation, that is 1.5 times. And in fact, it has neither traded sustainably above the median in last uh, 1.5 years or two years. So this is one pocket where a lot of uh, value uh, can be created going ahead. And this pocket shall emerge as a support to Nifty 50 going ahead. This is uh, the price to earning chart of Bank Nifty. Uh, this is also a historical price to earning chart. And uh, again, current price to earning of Bank Nifty is 15 times, which is lower than the historical median of 17 times. So 
overall the banking pack is really looking good uh, from medium to long term perspective and uh, the leading banks such as state bank of india hdfc bank have reported very healthy growth in their profits but the valuations uh, and the appreciation has not been there in terms of the price so that one space is there for accumulation in fact the fdi flows have remained uh, negative for uh, financial services from last uh, one and a half years because largely flows has been flown towards the auto and cap goods so uh, really uh, long term approach and near term approach investors shall look at the banks very seriously next one here is the uh, nifty it's uh, price to earning multiple nifty it also forms uh, good part of the uh, our benchmark index so at present the valuations is uh, is there staying at upper band of one standard deviation at 20 7.8 times the one standard deviation has been at 26 times historically the the nifty it's median has remained at 21 times so despite of lot of correction into the uh, it companies we have seen the valuations are still at elevated level in fact many of the tier 1 it companies have cut their earnings uh, for the rest of the year so the upcoming quarters shall be really watchful and uh, the demand scenario how it pans out into the uh, developed market is a crucial for it companies to sustain their elevated uh, uh, valuation bands going ahead this is it index one year forward price to earnings and here also the story is same the upper band of standard deviation is 25 times and the one year it Uh, forward earning multiple is trading at 28 times uh, again a uh, hefty premium to the upper band so uh, the it the it stocks seems to be priced in a lot of uh, earning cuts which is which are about to schedule into the next year lastly uh, the nifty pharma uh, pocket where we have identified this one into the april 23 uh, as the performance was very Uh, low in terms of the uh, relative performance compared to the nifty as well as the valuations were very attractive uh, back in april 2023 since then we have seen a healthy movement into the cipla uh, marksons pharma sun pharma and uh, lupin aurobindo pharma so lot of pharma companies have reported very uh, good gains after that and in fact now the valuations are above median however they are still way below than the upper uh, standard deviation which is 39 times and the earning multiple of pharma companies is now trading at 35 times so there is a still way uh, for still uh, steam left for the pharma companies to trade above so that was uh, the last index to uh, watch so to conclude the things uh, the nifty has attained its inflection point both in terms of historical and forward valuation however the banks which are again a healthy uh, which uh, which has healthy weight into the indices are uh, less frothy they are, their valuations are at lower band so that can be uh, emerge as a very good support to the broader market so i hope the outlook is clear to all of you thank you and have a happy weekend ahead